Welcome to Banking Insights. Today we have a fantastic topic for you. It's all about screen scraping. I'm Alexander Eertmans, Vice President at Capgemini, and I'm joined by Joost van Putten, our Head of Strategy in Banking. We're going to talk about screen scraping, Joost. It has to do with open banking, it has to do with getting access to your payments data, but first things first, what is it? So screen scraping, Alexander, is essentially a technology for non-banks to get access to your bank data. It involves a customer sharing their banking credentials to a non-bank party and a non-bank party using a robot to look into your bank account. Whoa, 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 whoa. So getting into my banking data with robots, that sounds a little scary. Are people not worried about this? It is. People are worried about it, but at the same time people also like the new functionalities that are being offered by open banking. Ah. So, for instance, in Germany, a lot of people use Sofort. It's the most preferred payment method in Germany online to pay. And that also involves sharing credentials and Sofort making the payment via your bank account on your behalf. Is Sofort payment something similar like an ideal payment or a credit card payment then? So it's just another way of paying? That's what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. The only difference is the technology that is being used yeah. in the background. Oh, right. Which is one using the software robots. So this is basically all a technology story people do not know. But does it change anything within Europe then? Well, it does because banks care about it. Eh? Ah. Uh, banks care because of the safety argument. So they want to know who is logging on to their bank accounts. Of course, that makes sense. And do I share my PIN code? Is that what you're saying? You share your credentials, allowing a non-bank to indeed log in on your behalf with the software robot who will retrieve data or initiate a payment on your behalf. All right, and what do you see going forward will be the main thing around this screen scraping? I think it's the balance between uh, risk and reward. So yeah. it's a technology that is beneficial for customers. That's why customers use the technology. But at the same time, there's also risks associated with it. Uh, banks uh, want to protect customer safety. They want to yeah. know who these robots are that are entering the website, well, whether they're sense. legit. Yeah. They also want to know that the robots don't take more data then they're legally allowed, because also additional data, like for instance, whether you are an investor and you have an investment account, mm -hmm. might be data that the software robots encounter. And who is checking those robots then? That is uh, a role uh, that is both for uh, banks to see what's going on uh, mm -hmm. on their customers' accounts, as well as a bit for regulators to make sure that regulated companies stay within the boundaries of what they're allowed to do. Thank you very much, Joost. Obviously, there's a lot more to tell about it. There might be any topics you want to discuss with us. Anyway, contact Joost or myself if you want to have more insights or want to discuss them. See you next time.